I've been asked if I would try and explain how I play my accompaniment to my arrangement of Scarborough Fair. That sounds a reasonably simple request, but unfortunately it's not easy to, to comply with, because when I play a finger-picking accompaniment, because I've been playing so long, my fingers seem to choose their own pattern to play. Uh, and I think it's subconscious as to how I go about that process. I suppose it boils down to having taught myself certain patterns for certain types of rhythm and playing uh, basically that pattern but with slight alterations. So for example in this one the song's written in 6-8 time and the simplest 6-8 accompaniment finger picking that I would like to use for that such a such a pattern for such a rhythm is thumb I M R M I where the thumb plays any of the bass strings four, five or six, but the index finger only ever plays the third string, the middle finger only ever plays the second string, and the ring finger only ever plays the first string. in that sort of fashion. However, to add colour to the accompaniment and to hint at the tune, not play the tune, just hint at it, I modify that in the fashion that I play it, which I will now try and explain. The introduction, instead of playing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I'm playing it in this fashion. How did I do that? Well, to begin with, as you see from the annotations, the first three notes are just simply T, I, M. But the next one which is the ring finger, but you see in brackets after it, it says OH1. What that means is I'm going to play it open to begin with. So I'm lifting my first finger off the string on the left hand, and I'm going to hammer it on as soon as I've plucked the string, so that I get two sounds for the price of one. In that fashion. Then M, I, M. However, you will probably notice that I'm doing something else at the same time as I'm doing that hammer on, but I'm not going to show it on the annotations because it would confuse you, I think. But Bear in mind that at the same time that I'm doing that ring finger open hammer on one, I'm going to hammer on with my second finger behind the third, sorry, second fret of the third string. But I'm not plucking that string. So you won't see I O H2 because I'm not going to show that in the annotations, but I am going to play it. At the same time as I do that hammer on with the ring finger, I'm doing the hammer on with the second finger without plucking a string. Sorry. There it is. Now you can hear that extra note in there. 
sorry again, try it again. So I'm getting this, but I'm also getting that. Try that again. Trying to play something like this slowly is difficult, and I will make mistakes as I go along. Please bear with me. Okay, so there's the introduction. Now we come into the verse proper, still in D minor for the first two bars, but the pattern now is T I M R T I I M R M I M for the first two bars. This way. Now I'm changing to C with my left hand, and I follow the pattern as described. T I M R T five I. That was T four I M R T five I. Then back to D minor for that same bar as the introduction. Don't forget the double hammer on there. Now we change to F, T, I, M, T, I, M, back to D minor, T, I, M, R, T, I, G, starting with the fourth string, T, I, M, R, sixth string, T, I. Now A on the fifth string, fourth string. So the whole of that line, starting with the F, and they're going to the wrong string there on the A, but it doesn't really matter. Next line, Back to D minor, now to F, and now when I'm going to the C, we've got that OH in there again after the T4, this is OH2, basically all that means is when I change to the C, I'm going to pluck the fourth string before I hit with the second finger behind the second fret so that it'll sound do that again then T5 sorry that's T4 to begin with sorry I'm getting mixed up here I'm trying to do it slowly and work my fingers to the annotations. They don't automatically want to go there at this speed. They will do when I play it faster. So on to the next line, back to the T, D minor. T4, I, M, R, I, M. We've got that same hammer on to the C again. Same hammer on again, this time to the A minor. And back to D minor. Which was the same as the introduction. Right, let's see if we can play that all the way through at that sort of speed.
sorry, I've gone wrong. Start again. Now I won't swear, I was going to, but start again. That was near enough to what I have written. Not exactly, but close. So when I speed it up to full speed, it would sound something like this. It doesn't matter if you make the odd mistake, provided that you get your chord changes in the right place. It doesn't really matter what your, your, your fingers are doing, but it does just make it sound a little bit of a more interesting accompaniment if you can get those hammer-ons in the right place and keep the rhythm going so that first couple of verses will sound something like this Are you going to Scarborough Fair Parsley, Sage, Rosemary and Thyme To one who lives there, she once was a true love of mine. Well, I'm only going to sing the one verse because I can't remember it. <laughs> it just uh, left me. Well, as I said at the start, it's not easy to explain that, and. It's probably a damn sight harder to learn to play it if you're not used to doing so. But if you try and follow those annotations and work through it slowly, then hopefully, if you want to play it like I do, you eventually will do. Okay. Bye now.